Hello everyone, welcome to Skaria.com. I'm Dr. Hina Khan and today we're going to discuss the corneal dystrophies. Now when we are discussing this uh, topic, basically it is relating to the genetic abnormalities and the congenital mutations that can relate to the epithelial changes as well as it can involve the other layers of the cornea. It can be the stromal layer, it can be the internal limiting layer and as well as it can be the decimates membrane that is involved in these corneal dystrophies. So we'd be discussing first of all the epithelial and the sub-epithelial dystrophies over here. We'd be discussing the major clinical features along with that, the different complications if they are not treated upon time, what are the different prognostic factors that would be discussed upon in this lecture. Moving on, we'd be discussing the Bowman's layer dystrophies. So as we move on histologically um, in the cornea, we have an epithelium, which is basically a stratified squamous type of epithelium, and it is resting upon the Bowman's layer. Even the Bowman's layer can be involved in these genetic mutations. Any mutations involving the Bowman's layer is again going to result in the corneal opacification, haziness, cloudiness of the cornea that is observed in the patients. The patients would usually come up with haziness of the cornea, coupled up with the blurring of the vision, photophobia, excessive lacrimation, and all of these signs and symptoms along with the age of the patient are very peculiar over here. These patients of corneal dystrophies usually present in the first and the second decade of life, and we would be discussing the different complications that can contribute towards the loss of vision in these patients. Along with that, we'd be discussing the stromal dystrophies for these patients. Even the stroma of these patients can be involved. There are a variety of uh, type 1, uh, type 2 stromal dystrophies that can be seen over here. We should know how to distinguish these kind of dystrophies from the other Schneider or even the epithelial dystrophies. What can be the complications? Usually the type or the mutations or the pattern of mutations is the autosomal dominant in these kind of varieties. So knowing these patients and how to deal with them and how to make a management plan for these patients would be discussed over here in this lecture. Moving on, we also know that we have the decimates membrane and the endothelial dystrophies. So we have a type 1 and type 2 endothelial dystrophies over here. The pattern of mutations over here is usually autosomal recessive for the endothelial variety. We'd be discussing or in detailing the signs and symptomatologies along with that, the prognostic factors and the treatment modalities over here for the endothelial variety also includes internal keratoplasty. Uh, just to improve the quality of vision for these patients and that would be also discussed over here in detail as well. So we have thousands of medical lectures available on our website. Do watch and uh, thanks for watching skaya.com and get access to watch the complete lectures.